Hello, this is Jerry Spinelli with the University of California Cooperative Expansion for San Diego. I'm the production horticulture advisor for nurseries and floriculture. And today we will find out the truth about PAM. PAM is polyacrylamide and is this stuff, this powder, it looks like sugar and when it does when it touches water it dissolves and it becomes sticky and kind of s slippery and snotty looks like snot and uh, this stuff is a, a super long molecule it's a long molecule and what it does is connects different particles of soil together and it does something that is called flock, flocculate, it flocculates them, meaning it creates some flakes. And then these flakes, when they're all aggregated together, they settle out of solution. So this stuff is used, is added to water when it's cloudy in order to settle all that sediment out of solution. Why is this important? Why is this interesting? It's important because many growers have sedimentation ponds where they collect their irrigation runoff or the rain runoff. And very often this runoff has a lot of sediment in it. And so if they can add this stuff to their sedimentation pond to help settle all the sediment out of solution, then the, when they discharge this water into the surface waters or into the rain uh, drain, the storm drain, then the water will be clearer and the environment will not be impacted by this sediment. So we have had some experiment in the field with this stuff, adding it to the, to the field and sometimes I've seen great solution like this um, one, like this example, where the water uh, where, we are, where we added the uh, pan was completely clear and the other one was full of sediment. And then I've also had some experiment where we added this pan and really nothing happened, it just remained cloudy. So today we are gonna try with, three, with these three buckets we're gonna make a solution of water and make it really cloudy with uh, with some soil and stir it until it's super cloudy and then one will leave it as as is on the other one we'll add pam and on the third one we'll add pam and some calcium chloride because the calcium helps bridging between this uh, long molecule that is negatively charged and the particle of soil that is also negatively charged so in between you need some salt that is positively charged and there's multiple positive charges like calcium to bridge between the two so we will find out if when I failed it was because we didn't have enough salts in the water Okay, here we are, we are ready. I just made these three buckets. They're one gallon bucket and we put 100 grams of soil in each of them. And we're gonna drop, using these bottles, we're gonna drop 0.1 gram of polyacrylamide in one and we're gonna drop 0.1 gram of polyacrylamide and 0.2 grams of calcium chloride in the other one see what happens and leave the other one untreated so I'm gonna give them one last stir and then I'm gonna drop our pan in them all right ready so this is the one with the calcium and the pan this is the one with only the pan and then put there the concentration that it corresponds to ready Anticlimatic. 
hope you guys can see. I mean, it's not, it's not clearing instantly. I mean, compared to the untreated, maybe looking at it from the side. My help us understand better what's going on been about a minute since I dropped it you can also take a sample with the same bottles and see if you can see any difference here doesn't seem to settle but it really feels snotty and slippery so at least that part we got right I guess the snotty part we achieved but the water is still cloudy They steer it. Should I not steer it? Did I put some palm in then treated with my from with the stair stick? Is that one clearing maybe a little bit though? Kind of looks different. The color is a little bit different. I mean, it didn't clear instantly. Did this one clear? No, they didn't. So we're we're about at the four minute mark since I dropped it. Maybe the middle one is clearing a little bit. Maybe this one, the one that had calcium chloride. So it needed it needed the steering. Okay, yeah, now I kind of now I kind of can see a difference. Maybe I'm starting to see a difference in that one too. Definitely these two are different. Also from the side, we definitely see a difference. And the third one too, it seems like there is a gradient, right? So, already the pan by itself seems to clear it a little bit. But definitely with the calcium chloride, it looks better. It seems that there is a difference between these two. two looks like the one in the middle it's more clear so it's not it, it doesn't it's not instantly but it's quite dramatic I mean, look at it look at it right now I mean and you can see through the water all the sediment at the bottom
so yeah so it's not it takes it takes five minutes it takes five minutes so once you did drink some coffee or have a cigarette and then go back and look at it after five minutes but it seems that it worked so we're gonna try again in the field we're gonna use I guess 25 ppm the, con the, the recommendations are about 5 or 10 ppm so this is definitely a high dose but 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 it seems that the calcium chloride also helped a lot so there is that too on the other hand this water that I'm using from San Diego is has high salinity is about 0.9 decisiemens per meter that is relatively high salinity but anyway the truth about PAM it seems that PAM works so you can see that PAM works We hope we hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you the next time okay so this is what it looks like about two hours later and and it's really funny that that the polyacrylamide 25 ppm is still cloudy the untreated is still cloudy but the polyacrylamide and calcium chloride, you can see the sediment at the bottom. It's so clear. It's so clear that you can see the sediment at the bottom. I don't know if it shows in the video, but you can read, you can read five quarts that is on the other side of the of the bucket here. You barely you barely can read the five I hope it shows on video so it's not a super fast I mean it took it took five minutes to show something but then after a couple of hours it's really surprising <laughs>